Okay, so I finally have my uh, interactive coffee table finished now. Um, it's in media mode at the moment. Um, yeah, this is just using the. Well, I'll start in news mode actually. Let's see. Since that, that's actually what mode it starts in. So just uh, just an overview of it. Um, there's the main panel here. It's got two LEDs, four white um, directional keys, red and blue um, enter and cancel keys. The green LED shows when it's uh, when it's ready to be used, and the orange LED shows when it's um, when it's busy. Basically, that's when the Ethernet shield is. Um, when there's an Ethernet request been uh, like a web request in process, because that'll stop the rest of the um, the rest of the like the visualization and the user interface from working. So let's pause that for now. Um, so you've got the two the displays. You've got the the green um, LCD. It's um, four rows, 20 columns, and the blue LCD, which is two rows and 40 columns. The green one is usually, is always what the the menu's shown on, so. And you just navigate this, like, yeah, just with the, let's focus now. So you just, yeah, just navigate this with the up and down keys on the directional um, keys. And then it's blue for enter, and then red closes the menu again. So this is in this is in news mode now. Yeah, so you've got the orange LED to come on to say that it's doing an, a web um, a web request, and what that does is it gets the latest story on. Um, I, th I think this is set to end gadget at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's end gadget. So it shows the latest headline from there, from Engadget, and here it displays the uh, the weather forecast for where I am now. And in news mode, the matrix doesn't actually show anything on it. So, yeah. And that'll update, I think I've got it set to update every two minutes at the moment, so... Every two minutes, the orange LED will come back on, and that should update. So uh, that's basically news mode. Um, See, so on the menu here, you get an option to refresh to refresh it manually, and you get the option to go into medium mode. So I'll do that now. Um, so yeah, that's the that would be the audio visualization, but there's not actually a source at the moment. Um, a couple of things um, that I've had problems with this. Obviously, you can see that there's LEDs not working in the matrix. Uh, you can also probably hear a little bit of interference, but that isn't really noticeable when you uh, when you're playing music. So I'll just play something. And over time, when you play something as well, the visualization does improve. So in medium mode as well, you get the visualization and you get the audio system. And if you open the media menu, you can switch it to Bluetooth, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. And you can refresh last FM information from last FM. And sometimes it doesn't actually work very uh, quickly because the device actually has to send an update to last FM first which can sometimes take a while and then it can sometimes take a while for that to dis to show up on the web service as well I've noticed but I'm not entirely sure why this why that is but it can usually take a couple of times for it to update yeah there you go and sometimes as well, you don't actually get the album from the web service as well for tracks that are currently playing. But yeah, the visualization does tend to work better at higher volumes as well, I've noticed.
And in medium mode, the last of um, information doesn't automatically up update as well because that would um, that would cause visualization and stuff as well. So, as well, you can also have it um, transmit audio through Bluetooth. So I'll just show that. So you just go in the major menu and switch to Bluetooth. So I'll just disconnect that. Just enable Bluetooth on the device. And it should, should yeah, it automatically connects to it there. Try a different song as well. Yeah. And the changing the input source does also reset the visualization parameters and the last FM information because it might be two different devices um, playing different songs or whatever. So I'll just try and re refresh last FM, see if this will work. Yeah, it's still on the last time I was playing, so I think the I think I'm not entirely sure on this, but I think the last FM app for Android at least waits so long before transmitting an update to last FM. Try it again. Yeah, there we go. I've got the update now. And because of these are uh, ultra bright LEDs, you do get quite a good effect on the ceiling as well. Yeah, and you get quite a good effect with uh, like having three layers of LEDs as well. One a reflection in the acrylic, the actual LEDs and a reflection in the glass. Looks quite good. It's been a bit of an unintentional effect that. I'm quite happy with the sound quality as well, because um, these were just relatively cheap amplifiers I used to make this as well. Bluetooth, the Bluetooth interface, um, Bluetooth connection doesn't sound as half as good as the just using 2.5 millimeter though. That's the only thing. But yeah. And then the main power is just controlled with a with a no volt release switch down here, which is where the rest of the connections are as well. So yeah, and when it's off, it does actually it does use um, it does actually not use any power when it's off as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and. Um, Please support this instruct this um, project in the Instructables, Arduino, Woodworking and Make It Real Challenge. Thanks for your support.